So, Anthony, you told me recently that you realize now that you had problems with anxiety and depression from an early age. What are some of the things as a child that you did or felt that make you think that you had anxiety and depression? I'd always get down around, you know, my birthday or holidays. I would just always be down. I just had low self-esteem. I was anxious. I was the type of person to pretend that there's nothing wrong on the outside, but in the inside, I'm really hurting. Yeah. You were diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder when you were 22. Uh What does that diagnosis mean to you? It was actually a blessing because I felt like I knew what I had instead of wondering why am I having symptoms. It's like finding something that you've been searching for and you find it. That's how I felt. What were the symptoms that you had before you got that diagnosis? Heavy depression, agoraphobia, would not leave the house, a lot of paranoia, hallucinations, hearing voices, seeing demons. I was literally thinking that I was in hell. I had to pretend like I was someone spiritual or something to get out of hell. Mm. I was fighting with my brain. And how do you think that drugs and alcohol affected you at that time and affected your mental health? I was drinking to the point where I'd black out and I wouldn't remember any things. The problem with drugs and alcohol is you're damaging your brain. So when I stopped using and stopped drinking and taking prescription medicine that the doctor recommended, I started noticing big changes. Mm -hmm. I'm still not there yet, but I'm still on the path of getting better. Yeah. I have a tremendous amount of respect for you because I know that you struggle day to day and you fight to not just survive, but to thrive. And you're a great inspiration to me because of that. We've been through a lot and you've stuck by me. I know that you love me and I'm pretty sure you know I love you too. Yeah, I love you. (laughs) 